Hello everyone, hope you're all having a great day. Stationary Pal was kind enough to reach out to me and ask me if I would like to do a Black Friday unboxing and haul video for you guys. So they kindly gifted me this box full of goodies that I was able to select. It's incredibly fun and I really have incorporated so much more and done so much journaling. So let's go ahead and open this. Oh, look how cute. All right, so they always put the cute little bubble wrap. It has hearts, it's cute, it's purple this time. Got a cute little Christmas bear that says Stationery Pal. Oh, they made it really easy to open up this time. That's really nice. These are all cute little free goodies on top. First, we have a little set of pencils and erasers. It's got a ruler and a pencil sharpener. So I think these are actually pen toppers. So look how cute. <laughs> so I think that's what they actually are, but you could use it for anything. Really cute though, white, a red, and a green. So really cute Christmas colors. Let's see, we have the little bear that seems to come in every box, it's so cute. And then this time have these little bunny pins. These are cute and they're little pins. There's three of them, a white, a gray, and a beige. I would love to know what you guys would do with these. And then there's a little rubber duck. And then we have a thank you card. They've changed the thank you card now. It shows more about stationary things. And they've handwritten my name again. That's so sweet. I'm going to take all that out so I can save that for later. All right, I'm gonna turn this to the side so I can start sharing all of the pretty things. All right, so first I picked out a new pencil case. So this is a pencil case, but it's expandable. I have a pink one that I really loved, and so I knew the quality is good, and so I wanted a gray one. Yes, that's gonna be really nice. So now I have a gray one. One, I'm keeping like my tape runner and the kind of bigger bulky things. And this, I really wanted to try for my acrylic markers because I love taking them to the living room. So I really like this pencil pouch. It does have a pocket in the front as well. I found a little sheet. This will be my little Christmas bookmark. And I will think of peace on earth every time I look at this little sheet. So it's really pretty. It's kind of a rose gold. And I have a few of these and I absolutely love them. I love that Stationery Pal has these and I always find different ones there. It's gonna be really cute. Um, I also found these little, these little charms and one is an egg. Uh, this was another affordable little charm. I have different planners and like one of them is like a food journal. And so this is going to be a little pin for my food journal and I thought that would be good. And then this one is a little teddy bear. So I thought that was cute. I did of course get more watercolor paper because I find this watercolor paper is actually pretty good for the price. Uh, it runs about, uh, I think this runs about $7. This is 200 GSM, 100% cotton paper. It's really lovely. I love the size. It's really easy to paint on and you know, it's not too big or too small and it is a block. So I don't have to tape it down. So I love that. It's one of my favorite things to pick up at Stationery Pal. This is 200 GSM and the hot press is 300 GSM. I find both of them are pretty good for affordable paper. They're both 100% cotton and acid free and there's 20 sheets of each. So they're just really handy for just coloring and playing. So I got those. I got some little reindeer clips. Look at these. I forgot I picked these out too. <laughs> I keep finding things. Oh yeah, I picked this. I keep forgetting what I picked. Uh, but yes, I got some reindeer. Thought they would be cute for Christmas season for my traveler's notebooks and my planners and all that. Um, did get some new coffee stickers. I love these coffee stickers and so I needed another set. And this one, um, I got a little uh, Got a little charm. This actually, it's probably supposed to be a little cat paw, but my daughter is thinking she wants a bunny, and so I actually got this for her because it looks like a little bunny paw to me. Really thought it was cute. And then, oh, this is the one that I really liked. 
look at this it's a little charm it's got a little lobster claw like the others and then um, it's got a little teddy bear that's holding a bunny okay and then I picked out a few more of the Posca pens so I picked out a few Posca pens I picked out the white the yellow and the green and I haven't tried very many Posca pens so I keep wanting to add more colors to my collection since it's Christmas I did go ahead and pick out this as the clean color dot this is the metallic set so I think I will open these up and swatch these out this is the clean color dot set of six and they are metallic and so they look so pretty because they have um, they have a gold, a silver, a green, a violet, a blue, and a red. These are dual tipped and so they have one end makes a dot and then the other one, I think one end makes a small dot and one end makes a bigger dot. And I thought they were super cute, but especially I thought they were really pretty. And especially for the holidays, I thought they would be great to use uh, for planners and for my traveler's notebooks. Next, I picked out a pretty Christmas edition of the <laughs> correction tape. Uh, next is the, the Narino Pod. And this is, a, uh, this is a tape runner. But isn't it pretty? It's going to match with all my Christmas stuff. I'm going to open this up. So it seems like this was limited edition is another reason. Yeah, well, it's special edition. So, but it's a tape runner and you open it up, this right here opens it, and then you're able to use it as a tape runner. And so you can stick down. Sometimes actually I've been using these on the back of stickers. I was excited because these are refillable. So I will be able to use that for a long time to come. Next, I have a little Hello Kitty tape measure. Let me take this out of the package. I think this would be really handy to have around um, because I think I could keep this and it would be really handy to have for doing my traveler's notebook. But I thought it was really cute, honestly. Um, oh, look at that. It pulls it back in. So it pulls it out and it stays. And then you push the button and it comes back in. All right. Oh, got another Posca pen. Okay. So it turns out I got four Posca pens. So I have white, yellow, red, and green. So I can use these for Christmas. So I'm excited to try those. And then I also did get one of these uh, metallic deco brushes from Karen. I picked out the silver. So here we have the Karen. This is the deco brush. This is metallic permanent marker. Um, I've shaken it and you're supposed to, it is water-based, non-toxic. And these I think are what, if you like hand lettering, um, people love these. I haven't used these too awful much. So I will just draw my own little, ooh, it's more metallic for sure. And juicier. Ooh, I like this too. <laughs> I don't, I can't make the perfect little dots myself especially on camera. Uh, so I believe this is silver, but I will have it linked below in case it was a different name. I do not do brush lettering. And then let's see how thin I can get. I'm not sure. You can get it pretty thin, but you can also use that nib and get it thick. That's nice, okay. I knew I would want more of these colors. <laughs> They're really pretty. My favorite so far is this, uh, I don't know how long these last is my only thing, is how, uh, if these go bad after a certain time or dry out, that kind of thing. But this is the blue. I'll just share next to the blue, just so you know, since I have it right here handy. They are juicier. But if you have that, if you have one or the other, you may not need both. 
they they do seem to be a different material inside because this one is juicier for sure and then I, of course, had to get some more of these Tombow brush pens. I have a sweet friend here on YouTube, Julia, and she has a YouTube channel, and she makes amazing portrait illustrations and paintings. And so I will link her channel below in the video. But she really, she told me she really likes these Tombow brush pens. I haven't given them much of a chance because they weren't light fast. Uh, but she's right and they really are fun and I do enjoy them. So I keep slowly adding to my collection. I will try to swatch those here. So I picked out number 835, 379, and 277. And number 126. I thought this would be perfect for Christmas cards and that kind of thing. I think these are stickers. I'm really not sure. So I'm going to open them up and see. Okay. They're little cards. Okay. So they're little cards. And so I will have to use the, um, I will just put the, use this adhesive on the back. And then I can use these like cute little stickers. They're just little paper cards though. But they're really cute, and they'll be even cuter once I make them into stickers. Oh, that one's cute. I like that one a lot. So just little bits and bobs that are fun. These are for tearing the block paper off of your paper pad. So I am going to set up my journals using some of these supplies, and I thought you guys might like to get a few peeks. Here's how I'm starting to organize my Traveler's Notebook for Christmas. I have two and I'm going to do a little bit in each because I use them for different purposes. And I want to thank Stationery Pal again for sending me this box. It's lovely and I really do love all of these items. It's really fun again to open one of these boxes and share what I found. And I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.